They were the ghost king evil eyes. This ghost has real long legs and mean looking eyes. Evil eyes means when you see how ferocious his eyes are, you tremble. The ghost king blood drinker. He focuses on drinking living beings blood. He goes to drink blood anywhere it is found. The ghost king essence and energy eater is a pisaka in Sanskrit. The line of pisasha in the Suragama mantra is this ghost king essence and energy eater. He enjoys eating people's energy and the essence of the five grains. For instance, why do our essence and energy dissipate? It is because this type of ghost sucks your essence and energy away. The Ghost King Fetus and Egg Eater It's undeveloped fetuses. This type of ghost is a placentas that fall off of newborns born earlier than expected. He also eats ghosts. How come he became this type of ghost? It is because in past lives he used to like to kill. He will not even share the meat and blood he prepared with his wife, not to mention other people. He eats and drinks his own butchered game, unwilling to share with others is a sign of stinginess. That is why he died and became a ghost king fetus and egg eater to who eats such nasty things. The ghost king spread of sickness goes around spreading epidemics, contagious diseases. Diseases occur because some ghost king spread of sickness is distributing them. The ghost king collector of poisons is a good ghost and not a bad ghost. He will suck away any venom you contracted and cure you. This type of ghost is a transformation of bodhisattvas who came to save living beings. He does not poison others. Instead, he sucks out your poisons no matter who you are. This is a good intentioned ghost king. The ghost king Kai Hotsut is a compassionate. Although a ghost, he enters among the ghosts to save them so that ghosts develop the body reserve. The Ghost King Blessings and Benefits is the wealth fortune spirit who bestows and increases blessings. The Ghost King Great Regard and Respect and Others All so many Ghost Kings as described earlier came to the Chichachim heaven to listen to Shakyamuni Buddha explain the Earth Star Sutra. Sutra. At that time, Shakyamuni Buddha said to the Dharma Prince Manjul Sri Bodhisattva Mahasattva, As you regard these Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, gods, dragons, ghosts, and spirits from this land and other lands who are now gathered in the Chajachimsha heaven, do you know how many of them there are? Commentary. At that time, what time was that? It was uh, when each ghost king went to Chichachimsha heaven to listen to the drama. What are ghost kings? They are leaders among ghosts. Whether these ghosts are good or bad, they are transformations of bodhisattvas. Do not think ghost kings are just ghosts. Ghost kings made vows in past lives to teach and transform living beings using various means. Some pulled in all beings using compassion, some used ferociousness to tame living beings. These are the two ways of disciplining and attracting. Some beings developed their resolve for body when they met a compassionate ghost king who used gathering in to teach and transform living beings. Some beings met ferocious looking ghost kings and developed their resolve for body. An example of teaching and transforming living beings with a disciple, di, 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 discipline. Uh, an example of teaching and transforming living beings with a discipline. Since we understand that all ghost kings 
uh, transformations of bodhisattvas, we know there is really no good or evil ghost king. Where did good and evil come from? From every living being's karmic retribution. When living beings uh, evil karma matures, they see the ghost king evil eyed. When living beings uh, good karma matures, they see the ghost king kind hearted, regardless of evil karma or good karma. When it ripens, it changes. When evil karma ripens, it turns into good karma. When good karma ripens, it sometimes uh, turns into evil karma. We will not be turned by good or evil karma if we were cultivating the Buddha Dharma. We will only walk toward good karma and not turn to evil karma. We will not enter straight paths and end up at the mountain of lives, the walk of oil, and the tree of swords. Why do we study the Buddha Dharma? We want to flip heaven and earth over, shatter the universe. Why do we want to shatter heaven and earth? Heaven represents good karma, while earth represents evil karma. Turn back the good and evil karma of heaven and earth, walk down the path, the path of goodness and not the path of evil. Do that and the evil ghost kings would be rendered powerless. The good ghost kings would be unemployed and or retire because they have no work to do. I am very unhappy with recorders during my sutra lectures. Why? It makes some of refuge disciples dependent and lazy. No one is personally taking notes. I noticed that everyone used to pay attention and write lots of notes and record everything very clearly, but now no one takes notes anymore. People do not pay attention when they are listening. They forget when they read. Soon enough, they return everything I said to me, forcing me into retirement. Since both the good and bad ghost kings are useless, I, as the drama master, am useless too, so I cannot make good ghost and bad ghost retire. If they are out of a job, then I would be unemployed too. I would not have any sutra to lecture on, no, no lecturer, no audience. Without an audience, what is the point of being a drama master? At that time, Shakyamuni Buddha said to the drama prince Manjushri Bodhisattva, Manjushri Bodhisattva is also called Wonderful Virtual Bodhisattva and Wonderful Auspiciousness Bodhisattva. Why is he called Wonderful Virtual? He was born with 10 auspicious signs. One, light lit up the entire room. Two, sweet dew overfilled the place. Three, seven gems welled forth from the earth. Four, hidden treasures magically opened up. Five, chickens gave birth to four nixes. Six, pigs gave birth to dragons. Seven, horses gave birth to chimaras. Eight, cows gave birth to mythical beasts. Nine, millets in the granary turned to gold. Ten, elephants had six tusks. He is called Wonderful Virtual because he had these ten inconceivable wonders. He is called Wonderful Auspiciousness because he was born with these ten kinds of auspicious omens. Actually, this Bodhisattva is no longer a Bodhisattva but a Buddha. He became a Buddha in the past named the venerated King Buddha of Dragon Seed. He became a Buddha in the past. Is he a Buddha now? He became a Buddha in the present too. What is his name as the Buddha now? He is called the Buddha of accumulation of treasures of happiness filled with money jewels. His land is the world of happiness in the north. Manju Sri Bodhisattva is the Buddha of accumulation of money jewels. According to the Lotus Sutra, Manju Sri Bodhisattva is the master of Shakyamuni Buddha's master. What does that mean? The Buddha of light from sun and moon lamps had eight sons, 
the youngest became a Buddha named Burning Lamp Buddha. Burning Lamp Buddha's master is a Dharma Master Wonderful Light. Who is the Dharma Master Wonderful Light? He is a Manjo Sri Bodhisattva. Shakyamuni Buddha was a Burning Lamp Buddha's disciple. He received the protection for Buddhahood from Burning Lamp Buddha and became a Buddha in this life. In terms of generations, Manjo Sri Bodhisattva is much more senior than Shakyamuni Buddha. Being the master of Shakyamuni Buddha's master, now that Shakyamuni Buddha became to be a Buddha, Manjo Sri became Shakyamuni Buddha's disciple. See how Bodhisattvas do not hang on to any outer size at all. For them, there is big or small, high or low, various discriminations. When I lectured on the Vata Sutra, I often told you that the drama is equal and level without high or low. Now that we are in this uh, house lecturing on the sutras and explaining the drama, there may be my masters or disciples from the past. Now that you are studying the Buddha drama, you will become enlightened and realize Buddhahood if you learn to have the way. To possess a virtue, perhaps, I will request you to be my master. The Buddha drama is inconceivable, so the wonderful strengths of wonderful virtue and wonderful auspiciousness are examples. Once you understand, then leaving all master is all drama. If you do not understand, attached to master, you are wrong in every turn, falling into emptiness based on the unconditioned. I speak extemporaneously when I lecture on the sutras. Sometimes my explanations shatter the heavens and sometimes quake the earth, but I do not care whether the sky collapses or the earth caves. I do not care at all. There is nothing. All dhammas are without a self, without people, without living beings, and without lifespans. So what does it mean by the Buddha drama flourishing? The Buddha drama declining? Proper drama, ending drama, everything is false. Some say, Dharma Master, your talks confused your talks confuse me. I meant to confuse you. If you understand, you would not listen to my sutra lectures. Okay, let me keep explaining this this confusing sutra. Bodhisattva Mahasattva. Mahasattva is a great Bodhisattva. Who is this great Bodhisattva? Manju Sri Bodhisattva. Shakyamuni Buddha asked Manju Sri Bodhisattva, As you regard these Buddhas who have all come to the heavenly palace, Bodhisattvas, gods, dragons, ghosts, and spirits from this land, this world, and other lands who are now gathered in the Chattachimsha heaven, do you know how many of them there are? Do you know how many Buddhas have come to the palace in the Chattachimsha heaven to listen to me speak the Earth Star Sutra? How many Bodhisattvas? How many ghosts and spirits? Are you clear on the exact number? Why do I ask you? Because you will have great wisdom, true wisdom, and wisdom that thoroughly penetrates the source of the drama. Now let me ask you. Do you know how many? Tell me. Please respond. Sutra, Manjushri said to the Buddha, Won't honor one, even if I were to measure and reckon with my spiritual powers for a thousand aeons, I still would not be able to know how many of them there are. The Buddha told Manjushri, Regarding them with my Buddha eye, their numbers cannot be exhausted. Those beings have been taken across are being taken across, will be taken across, have been brought to accomplishment, uh, being brought to accomplishment, or will be brought to accomplishment by Earth Star Bodhisattva, Siti Gava, throughout many ends. Manju Sri said to the Buddha, World honored one, throughout many ends, I have cultivated good rules, and my wisdom has been certified as unobstructed. When I hear that the Buddha, what the Buddha says, I immediately accept it with faith. But hearers of small attainment, gods, dragons, and the rest of the 
eightfold division and uh, beings in the future who hear the first common true and sincere words will certainly harbor doubts. Even if uh, they receive the teaching most respectfully, they will still be unable to avoid slandering it. My only wish is that the world honored one will proclaim for everyone what earth store bodhisattva Mahasattva practiced and what vows he made while on the level of planting causes that now enable him to succeed in doing such inconceivable deeds. Commentary Manjushri said to the Buddha, Earlier, Shakyamuni Buddha asked Manjushri Bodhisattva, Do you know how many Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, ghosts, and spirits there are? Manjushri Bodhisattva told the Buddha, World honored one, even if I were to measure and reckon with my spiritual powers for a thousand errands, were I to take one thousand errands to estimate and guess at that number using my spiritual powers and wisdom, I still would not be able to know how many of them there are. I would not know that number. The Buddha Shakyamuni told Manjushri Bodhisattva, regarding them with my Buddha eye, observing with my Buddha eye. What is a Buddha eye? A Buddha eye is like a thousand suns that are omniscient, see and hear everything. The Buddha eye has all possible cap capabilities and is the manifestation of all wisdom. There are four other eyes, the flesh eye, the heavenly eye, the drama eye and the wisdom eye. One verse describes them comprehensively. The flesh eye penetrates the obstructions. The heavenly eye penetrates without obstructions. The drama eye contemplates the, the secular. The wisdom eye understands the true emptiness. The Buddha eye is like a, a thousand suns. It is the same as the source but shines on different things. The heavenly eye sees everything thoroughly and clearly without any obstructions. The flesh eye penetrates obstructions. What is the flesh eye? It can see everyone and everything. The flesh eye is not the eyes that we typically used to see. There is another flesh eye. The heavenly eye and the flesh eye are on opposite sides. Not only can the flesh eye see things in the house, and outside the house, regardless of how far. As long as you want to, you will see it. If you do not want to see it, you will not see it, of course. Although you can see, it would be best if you do not. Why? It takes a thought to see one thing. It is better to have fewer thoughts than more thoughts. One less false thought is better than one more false thought. Using this eye to see things and to observe requires thoughts, but this kind of thought is somewhat different than most people's thoughts. Although they are different, there is not much advantage to it. Even when you can see, you should not look. This is the flesh eye that penetrates obstructions. This means that it can see through every item that blocks. The drama eye contemplates the secular. The drama eye sees the secular truths which are the typical worldly situations. If you open your Dharma eye, not only do you not need to read sutras, all you need to do is open your Dharma eye and all of space and Dharma realm are sutras, limitless and boundless number of Dharma treasures. As long as you have the purity to the, to the Dharma eye, you can universally observe the true marks of all Dharmas. This is the Dharma eye that contemplates the secular. The wisdom eye understands true emptiness. The wisdom eye observes the emptiness. Secular truths are false truths because they are not substantive. Real truths are about to understand about, about the understanding of true emptiness. The wisdom eye understands true emptiness because it understands the true marks of all dharmas and true emptiness. The Buddha eye is like a thousand suns. The Buddha's eyes are as bright as a thousand suns. It is the same as the source that shines on different things. 
Also, it says a different things. It is one of the core. Now, in this sutra passage, the Buddha said that he observed with the Buddha eye. He used the Buddha eye and observed that all the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Sautiras, those who enlightened to conditions, Pratika Buddhas and dragons and spirits of the Eightfold Division. Their numbers cannot be exhausted. I do not know the numbers in detail, Shakyamuni Buddha said. Those beings have been taken across to become Buddhas a long time ago by Earth Star Bodhisattva. All these Bodhisattvas are being taken across in the time uh, when Earth Star Bodhisattva was on the cause ground will be taken across are uh, all the dragons and spirits, gods and all beings of the future have been brought to accomplishment, are being brought to accomplishment, or will be brought to accomplishment by Earth Star Bodhisattva, Siddhi Gapa, throughout many years. Accomplishment in Chinese also means lush and lofty. The position achieved will be high, great and lush. It also means Filiality. Most people cannot uh, shout the word uh, filiality in China. Who can? The emperor. Since uh, ancient times, uh, the emperor governed the world with uh, filiality, achieving the loftiest uh, virtues. In this sutra, a strawberry sattva is already helping all beings uh, realize Buddhahood. Now he is uh, helping living beings be bodhisattvas and will help all beings realize their highest role, Buddhas in the future. This idea contains three stages. One, planting as in planting seeds. Two, ripening, grains nurtured and irrigated will grow from out of the soil. Three, liberated as in liberation after being mature for a while. In other words, making beings who have not planted any good roots to plant good roots, making beings who have planted good roots grow, making those whose good roots have already grown to ripen. They are liberated when their good roots mature. There are three meanings to accomplishment.